hey everyone it's scrappy fun kits unboxing time and look at the size of this kit this box is a bigger box you know not a huge one but a bigger one look at that goodness Christmas goodness Christmas is here so this is a December documented kit from scrapping fun kits and this is obviously oh sorry Sorry, I'm just trying to fix up my cushions. This is the numbers that she's cut. My five has dropped down here. But look at those beautiful gold. Gold and red. They are like perfect size. I don't even know what to say because I like them too much. I just want to stare at them. One, two, three, four. Look, even just that one to four looks beautifully amazing so look at this big bag what can you see besides glare shall we open it I guess that's why you came to watch so check it out there is still some of these kits around so if you're wanting some Christmas stuff to document whether you're doing December daily or December documented or Christmas you know, just normal scrapbooking in your albums, whatever you're doing, this will be perfect. What I'm doing this year is um, a just December document, a Christmas documented. So what I'm doing is if there's a Christmas event or, you know, activity or something, then that's what I will be scrapbooking about in a mini album. And I might even make a Christmas traveler's notebook to go with it because I'm loving that style of scrapbooking at the moment and documenting so here we have two cut apart sheets some lovely words and look at these gingerbread men how cute oh I like these so oh that's a pretty card like with ah oh. no the words are going this way happy holidays merry resolutions mistletoe snow Santa jingle oh there's a whole pile of words on it and then like Holly. So this Santa and Toys is a, just a word banner. Look at that little bear. He's so cute. And that is nice. Oh, it's a tag. That will be awesome on a day. I didn't even show you that it was a tag, did I? It wasn't in shot. And that'll be awesome on the day that we made Gingerbread House. And the Poncientas. Poncienta. Poncienta. You know that, you know, the flower that everyone loves at Christmas time. Elf. Decorating the tree Christmas morning. So there's some lovely cut apart embellishments and some cards here. So we've got four by six, a couple of three by fours, and a couple of shorter ones. Excuse me, I'm not too sure because oh goodness, where has my ruler gone? That's a bit of a worry. I must find it after this video. So gosh, there is a big pile here, and I don't know. Look at this big bar. I don't know where to start. Beautiful gold doilies. <gasps> Look at this shiny red ribbon. I like that red. That is the perfect Christmas red. Let me tell you that. So some lacy trim. Some pom-pom trim. Whoa, there's lots of it. Let's show you just one strand of it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, lay down for me. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, this is so fancy. Whoa. Look at that fanciness. It's like the lace trim up here with these beads dangling down. Oh, that's so pretty. I've never. Why do they always have, when I'm looking at these scrappy fun kits, why are they always something that I've never seen before? That is just amazingly awesome. That is what I love. One of the things I love about it. So, some red and green twine. Because we all know there's some labels and some tags that we need to, to fill there with our um, twine. Oh, look at this gold. Gold embellishment. Um, alphas, I mean. And look, it's like a, just a beautiful like Christmassy font. That reminds me of Christmas so much. And then there's the, the lowercase. Oh, this is going to be an example of... Not being able to fit on the screen again because there's so many goodies. So much goodies. I feel 
Like, oh, I just, I'm so glad Christmas is he almost here because I need to start documenting this and using this beautifulness. So some silver doilies. And they're a good size, that's for sure. They're bigger than the gold. And, oh, look at this gold paper bag. It's so shiny. How did I get that in a in a paper like so it's so smooth but it's like the gold is like shimmery gold and then a red and white paper bag they are they'd be awesome for some journaling some hidden photos thought of everything oh look at this see that <laughs> that's so cute oh whoops so it can can fit on my finger there so you can see it's a real kind of Santa hat that you can use on your layout somehow. I'll show you how, I'm sure. Oh, some green punchinella. Look at the shimmery gold. Um, pretty, really nice if I knew what my colours were when I, you know, thought of it in my brain and then spoke out of my mouth. Green punchinella. It's very shiny. And it's very curly, even though it's been laying flat. Ta da How's that for showing it off? And in this little bag is a little, looks like it's felt. And oh, it looks like it's a Christmas ornament, but it'd be totally awesome. You could put that in your mini album like that and, and put in a letter or something or a photo. That's so beautiful. Or the elf could bring it and then you could document it again. Oh, that's going to be so great in a kit. I can't even zoom out. I'm already zoomed out. I need to move my um, camera further away. December 2017 in a lovely wood veneer by Corbett Creations. As always, hers are lovely and good. Where am I going to put that? And you can't even see it because I oh, I'm really frustrating with my frustrated with my. Um, my phone today the camera on it is for some reason not changing between seeing it here and seeing it here so some lovely chipboard Christmas 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 Eve daytime thanks Santa and some snowflakes I'm sure even though it doesn't snow here in Australia I'll be able to use them for something I'll think of a unique way to to get them in my album some beautiful handmade, of course. Some beautiful, like what I was calling before Ponciettas, but I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. There's two of them. Oh, you just amazing. The amount of goodness that's in here and the the way it all coordinates is just amazing. It's gonna be so fun making some embellishments, making some layouts. Oh, no way. This is what I've been seeing, and they are more beautiful in person than they are on the screen, especially if your screen does not focus. Look at these beautiful deers with the flowers on their tummies, on their backs. Oh, and they've got the white dots. Oh, they're beautiful. Little resin pieces. Oh, oh they're just so adorable. How on earth can you not... Like, just for the deers alone, this kit is worth it. Plus, look how much amazing awesomeness you get as extra. So how do I open this? So that you don't have glare. Oh, and gently, gently. It's lovely little chipboard. So nice and thin so it doesn't bulk out your layout. And it's a Christmas. Christmas with a French horn and some mistletoe and some ornaments, baubles, because that is just like traditional Christmas right there. French horn, mistletoe, baubles, just beautiful. And see, look at that font. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful little, it's like Christmas font. All, you know, it's what exactly what I think of when I think of Christmas font. I need to put it up there so that you can actually see it when I'm looking at my other goodies. Gosh, now I've got some little baggies left. Oh, and some washi. <clears throat> so, 
Christmas washi is just to die for. I actually have a lot of rolls of Christmas washi because there's something that I'm just, I don't know, I have actually have a hell of a lot of um, Christmas goodies because it's something I hoard, I adore, I haven't scrapbooked Christmas as much as I should, but this year that will change. Look at these Christmas cookies. Focus. Oh, they're so cute. That'll be good because we make Christmas cookies every year. We got some new um, cookie cutters this year, so that will be a perfect when the elf tells us the day is the day to make cookies. And some mistletoe wreath. Well, not a wreath. Some mistletoe garland is probably what I mean. Oh, I hold it with one hand, zoom. So sorry for the camera problems. Maybe that's what I need to ask Santa for. I YouTube camera that works. I don't know what, like my camera's been fine up until now, unless it hasn't been and I just haven't noticed. Sorry if that's the case. But surely when I see it, like when I edit it, I would see it. Now, are these beautiful flowers being handmade? Oh, Raylene, how do you do this all? This is amazing. Oh, stop shaking camera. Look at them. She's got a little bead and some ribbon, leaves. There's a whole pile of them. Let me get them out. Come on, little flowers. You know you want to come and show the viewers. They want to see your beautifulness. So, five little green flowers. They are just... They, oh, this whole thing screams Christmas and not because it just has the words Christmas and it's red and green but just like it's so traditional there's so many colours and the words and oh, oh amazing oh these are cool so some little pins with some enamel shaped stars and a Christmas tree on it so that'll be cool to add to a, an embellishment cluster and look, it's talking about embellishment Let's look at this little group. Okay, let's zoom back on the background. And let's see what I can uh, dig out in this little goodness. So, a gingerbread button. Little cute button. There you go. You can go next to your gingerbread men, friends. Oh, look at that stocking that's over... Oh! That stocking that's overflowing with toys. That is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. And that's a button, some uh, rhinestones, some bling, some red bling bling. Bling bling bling. Oh, that's pretty. So that classic Christmas again. Little resin piece that's a candle with a, a bow and some mistletoe in the background. Can you hear that? Jingle bells. Oh, I love these little shiny paper, pla paper plasticky. It's like that in the December kit. I can't remember what that's called. I'm going to have to, hopefully someone comments below and tells me. Look at that mistletoe. I love mistletoe, which is so funny because we don't have mistletoe in our house. <laughs> it's not really, I don't know. It's like not a, it's like an old fashioned kind of Christmas thing. I'm not sure that it's an American Christmas thing. I think it's just more old-fashioned. I'll have to, maybe I'll have to grab some. Gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. Some, oh, no way. Look at these beautiful flare. Oh. Look at those peppermint swirls and those trees. That is just to die for. Oh, I l oh. love it, love it, love it. Have I said love it? Have I said... Have I said it too many times? Oh, I'm nearly finished and I'm so glad. Well, not that I'm finished and that there's no more goodies, but I'm so glad that I'm finished because then I can dig in and start creating. I will be digging out some photos from last year and enjoying. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to have to, what I'm going to choose first though. Gosh, can I fiddle with the candy canes anymore? So they're like little, um plastic candy canes 
they're really hard plastic but they're really adorable sort of a bit like resin but not as shiny but they're beautiful and can you hear that hear that music oh so some bells three little silver bells that'd be good if we're documenting about the polar express and the bell hopefully you've all watched that movie if you haven't get off youtube and go watch it and look at the christmas tree charm if it would focus <gasps> that's so beautiful that would just be beautiful hanging from the the um the rings of the the mini album whoa aren't you so lucky to get so much blurriness so this is the december documented kit in all its glory and all its huge amazement it takes up most of my desk like I could fit my oh my god like two 12 by 12s this would fill up and you still wouldn't see everything it'd still be covered over like it is now so some you know just to recap some lovely trim some ribbons some twine some flowers both handmade beautiful goodness some resin deer some candy canes wood veneer chipboard flare that beautiful Santa hat Paper bags, an envelope, some more chipboards, some washi, some alphas, some numbers, some cut apart sheets, some doilies, some buttons, some charms. Like, how on earth can all this fit into one kit? I'm glad it does, but oh my gosh, there's a lot. Oh, this beautiful mistletoe. Anyway, let me stop rabbiting on about the goodness and go check it out. Go grab yourself a kit and... I hope you enjoy it and I hope I see you next time. Catch you around. See you.